body surface area, BSA. Now, this is used for children. This is one of the three calculations that the doctors use to figure out how much of an adult dosage they can give a child. The three rule, or the three different kind of formulas is the BSA formula, then you have the Clark's rule and the Young's rule. I'll talk about the Clark's rule and the Young's rule later on in different videos. But this one is just going to be the BSA. And as you can see on the right we have right here, this is going to be the BSA chart. I know it's not very clear and it's kind of hard to read, but you can actually turn to your book to find the body surface area chart. And that's actually going to be on page 186 of the, of the manual. So if you turn to page 186 of the manual, you can actually just follow along as I go over this, this chart right here. So let me explain this chart a little bit. So this right here is going to be the height of the baby. So when the doctor figures out, he's going to figure out the height of the baby, how, much, how tall the baby is, and that's going to be in centimeters is on the left, inches is on the right. Um, the weight is going to be right here on the right, and that's going to be in pounds or kilograms. So it all depends on how the doctor records the baby's weight. So we have the height right here on the left, we have the weight here on the right, and then we have the BSA, the body surface area. So for example, if the child is 130 centimeters long, right there, and he weighs 60 pounds, which is going to be right there, what you would do is you would draw a line from here to there, and that's going to be your body surface area. So from 130 centimeters to 60, we can figure that the body surface area is going to be one meter squared. And that's just really kind of not very accurate the way that I did it. I mean, you could get a line, a paper to match up. I didn't do it that way. I just kind of eyeballed it. So, um, yeah. So then what you're going to want to do to find the body surface area is you're going to want to do the formula for that is going to be BSA over 1.73 now it's always going to be 1.73 that's the constant okay so it's always going to be 1.73 and then you're going to go ahead and multiply the medication dosing. So the medication dosing for this is 15 milligrams per meter squared. And that's the same number that we find right there. Okay. So the BSA, we know it's going to be 1.45. And then as soon as we do the 1.45 divided by the 1.73, 1.45 divided by 1.73 and we multiply it by 15 that's going to give us 12.57 grams now if we want to convert the grams to milligrams what do we have to do Oh, but that's not what the question's asking, so we're okay there. So, the question is, if the dosing for a medication is 15 milligrams per meter squared, so 15 milligrams per meter squared, and the dose is intended for a child with a BSA of 145 meters squared, don't forget to label your units too, that's always important. How many milligrams are there in one dose? So, this is actually not going to be that, it's going to be milligrams. And we can make it a 12.6 grams, milligrams, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that. 12.6 milligrams is how many milligrams there are in one dose for that patient or for that child. So we'll go ahead and we'll go over another one. Um, I know it's kind of confusing. It might be confusing what I just did, but I'll go ahead and go over another one just to make sure we have a good understanding of it.